You want me to put this where? Oh, hi. Um, are you having problems uh, getting your Geisker 130 millimeter telescope put together? Well, in this video, we're going to try and help you out. So stay tuned. So this is part two of assembling uh, this telescope, getting it ready to go. Now you may notice that we've started with it completely assembled, because in the last video was the unboxing and kind of slapping it together, but you were kind of far away and I didn't really describe things as I was going through. So I'm starting with a completely assembled telescope. I'm going to disassemble it and then I'm going to reassemble it, and we're going to talk about it as we go so that you can see exactly where every part goes, why it's the way it is, and, and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so to start with, let me take it apart. Okay, so now we've got a whole bunch of pieces. Uh, the only thing I didn't take off was the rings off of this. We'll get to that in a minute. But we start with the legs. They are all one piece. There's nothing to really assemble. The only thing you've got to worry about is the tray. And the way the tray works, you've got this circle with some little notches in it. That goes over the center pin here. You push it down. You twist it until it locks, and you'll notice that it, there's uh, three little grooved pieces that these slide into. You just set it on there, you twist it, and it's locked. So that's the first step. Next thing is the actual mount itself. This has a threaded hole here. And this has a pin right here with a, a knob on it that threads up in here and holds it to this. So you place this on there. You turn this piece clockwise until it threads in until it's tight. Okay? And there you go. That piece is on. So, next, may as well put this little guy in. This is one piece that kind of irps me because it's usually you've got a you can put this rod in, you've got something on the end you can loosen, you can slide the weights up on there. With this one, you've got to assemble it with the weights on it. Now, one of the things I ran into is these little pieces here that allow you to tighten the weight up. You've got this piece with threads on it, but you've also got an aluminum pin that goes inside. Don't lose this aluminum pin because this doesn't go in far enough to do anything. So without this pin, you're in trouble. But what I have noticed is people don't realize that pin is loose in there, and they'll go to put this rod in, and it won't go through. 
So typically you just loosen this. You don't actually take it out and you sure don't drop it. Oop. What would a good video be without bloopers? So take this, put this back in the way. You really don't ever want to take that out because then you run the risk of losing that pin. So now the pin is still blocking, but if I turn it over and tap it, I can now run my rod through it. Okay? The same happens with this one. I just loosen it enough, tap it so that I can see through the hole, slide it onto the rod, and now I can tighten these two up and they won't slide off the rod. Okay, so now this whole assembly, I'm going to, I'm going to turn this around so it's right here. So this whole assembly now can thread right up into maybe the bottom of this mount. Now this is a whole lot easier to do when you have these a little tight so that you can spin them instead of trying to spin this rod. Okay, so now we've got the weights on there. I can loosen this again, slide the mount around, tighten it back up so that it is tight. All right, so the next thing in the box, this will probably be loose, if not in two pieces. So you will have the telescope tube, and then you will have the brackets that hold the telescope tube. This slides into this piece. In here, these two screws together, you've got one screw on one side, two screws on the other, little tightening knobs. If you loosen them up to where they're not sticking out anymore, you can just drop that right on in there and you're good to go. Now you can tighten these down and it will hold these rings in place, okay? So make sure they're snug so that this can't slide up and down or fall or anything like that. Then you take the telescope tube and here I'll point out a funny. I can't count how many movies I see where the telescope tube is pointed like that. That's not correct. So we're going to flip that around and we're going to put it in like this. Now, don't worry about getting everything lined up just yet. Flip one of your rings over. Thread that in. Get it good and snug. You'll notice your rings have kind of a little foam, uh, kind of felt padding maybe, and that gets on the telescope and keeps it from sliding once these are snug. You don't have to over tighten them, but you do want them snug so that uh, the telescope doesn't rotate or slide or anything like that. Okay, so now you've got most of the big stuff. So now we have these little guys. These things go own and you'll notice as you use this, sometimes you want it on one side, sometimes you want it on the other. I'm going to put them on, uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, what you want to do is this has a threaded screw right here that you want to unscrew, not all the way, just until it makes a, uh, it comes out enough to slide this over these little silver pins that are sticking out. There's two silver pins on this side and two silver pins over, over here. Now these little silver pins, there and there, if you feel them, there's a flat spot on them. On every one of them, there's a flat spot. Right there, right there. What you want to do is get that screw on the flat spot. So how do you do that? You put this on and pull it back a quarter of an inch or so. Tighten that little screw down just a smidge. I mean, just a teeny tiny little bit. And you should be able to feel when it goes into 
that flat spot. You can also feel around and find where that flat spot is. And then get this about on there. Now, remember, I, one of the first things I said was pull it out about a quarter of an inch. If you push it all the way up onto that little silver pin, you won't hit the flat spot because the flat spot's not that far up in there. So you want to slide it on, make sure that the, the it's loose enough, the screw is loose enough to slide it all the way on, then pull it back about a quarter of an inch, and then feel around, you should be able to get it. The other one works exactly the same. And once again, I could put it here, or I could put it on this side. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it on this side just for something different. And tighten it, and there we go. These are your slow motion controls. Now, remember I said there's two pins on this side and two pins on this side. So which side is the correct side for you to put these on? There's the trick. There is no correct side. The correct side is whichever side is easiest for you to be using at that particular point in time. If you're using the telescope and it's easy peasy and you start moving it around, you get to a point where one of them is somewhere that makes it harder to turn, pull it off, put it on the other side. No problem. Next thing is this little guy. This little guy holds your viewfinder. And the way it orients is the nose goes towards the sky and the nose is the area opposite the two little black deals and this little pin. Okay, The silver pin is spring-loaded. These two little plastic knobs uh, are not spring-loaded. They just twist in and twist out. And you'll see why here in just a minute. So, you loosen the silver screw on this bracket right here. And then you slide this in. There's a stop. So you can't put it in this way. You have to slide it in this way until it stops. And then tighten that silver screw back down. And now that's on there good. Okay. This piece, the large area, points towards the sky. The small area points to the rear of the telescope. You slide that in, and it's going to stop. And you're like, well, that's no good. Remember I told you this silver pin here is spring-loaded. Pull it out. Go ahead and slide the scope further in. Then let that go. Now it's in there, okay? And I'll talk later about this in another video, but you use these two to, to thread in and out to move the scope. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Uh, to align it. And we'll worry about that later. So that next eyepiece goes in there. You These two little silver pieces, little silver knobs on the side, you tighten those up to hold it in place. Do not over tighten those. All you want to do is go until it stops and then like a 32nd or a 64th of a turn more. Just teeny tiny snug. All you want is it snug enough to where the eyepiece you can't just slide it out and it doesn't wobble. That's all you're trying to do. You're not trying to, you know, bear hug it in there. Okay. So next we've got this little guy, which comes in two pieces. This is your phone mount. And the phone mount works like this. You take your eyepiece, pull it out. You take the round piece that came with the phone adapter, it's in two pieces. You unscrew it. You've got a piece with a little hole and then the big hole. You take the big hole piece, threads up, eyepiece with the glass that you look through up. You drop that through there. You take this piece with the little hole. You put it back on top and you thread it back together. Nice and snug. So now you've got a teeny tiny hole over your eyepiece. Now you take your phone mount and see the way that that goes up, over, and this way. You want to take this and thread that into there. Just like that. Okay? Then you're going to drop that in where your eyepiece was before, snug it down. Then you can take your cell phone Mine has a camera in the corner here, so I grab onto there, I line up the camera, 
and I tighten the knob on the back until that's lined up and good to go. That's all there is to it. And that is a complete assembly of this telescope. If you got any questions, comments, or anything, leave them below. And be sure and check out the other videos for more information. Clear skies.